Jeremy, continuing the talk about regulations, how hard is it to get banking licenses? To get banking licenses? Um, I don't all, know. All variety. Um, any kind of license, yeah. I mean, I, I think um, when, when we started Circle five years ago, um, the, the US, in the United States, at least, the Treasury Department issued guidance that basically said if you're going to exchange you know, dollars for virtual currency, you have to be uh, registered and regulated as what's called a money transmitter in the United States. And so that basically set in motion a regulatory regime. The U.S. has had that in place for over five years. So that meant to offer our products. Um, we use crypto for payments. We use it, uh, you know, obviously uh, in, in trading transactions, things like that. We needed to get, um, you know, licenses from every U.S. state that required it, which is about 48 states. We had to help with specialized licenses like the Bit license, which Ripple's also involved with and, and has. Um, and similar, you know, an e-money issuer license here in Europe. So it's um, very time consuming, many millions of dollars, several years. Um, and, uh, and you're never done, right? So as the, as the business evolves, as we start to do more things, as we start to launch, uh, you know, security tokens on exchange platforms, et cetera, you, you know, you need different types of licenses for that. And so I think there's this intersection of, um, you know, this sort of, you know, crypto technology and, regulatory frameworks and if, if you want to build mainstream businesses that touch millions of businesses and hundreds of millions of consumers, you're going to you navigate into, you know, regulated territory and, and that's just, uh, you know, that's a requirement. Mm -hmm.